and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to walk through my first workout back from surgery. The first one as you can see is a seated dip. Um, basically all I'm doing here is just pushing up and down. Now on all of these machines that I'm going to be showing you, I'm only doing 10 reps at a time and I'm only doing about 15 pounds at max. Uh, like I said, this is my first workout back from surgery, so I'm not doing a whole lot of weight right now. I am doing, right now, marking on arms, push down, and like I said, it's just, I wanted to get back in the gym and back working out. Um, I'm trying not to do a lot of weight right now. I'm just doing working out. I'm just basically giving my muscles a little push for the first couple of weeks. The max weight I'm doing is 15 pounds. This next one is it's rear delt pec fly or sometimes called a butterfly machine. Again, the max weight that I'm doing is 15 pounds and I do uh, 10 reps a at a time. Uh, at my gym, as you can see, we wear masks. Uh, not everybody wears masks, but we do. Uh, both JR and I do wear masks. Um, I'm doing my 10, uh, 10 reps here. Each time, you know, I do 10 reps and then take a break. JR does his 10 reps and then I do, and I do three sets. I do three sets of 10 reps on each machine before I move on to the next machine. I, um, it, it's very important to me to get back to working out. I definitely need to get my muscles moving. I, I have been walking since my surgery. I, I've said that before. I do walk, but getting in the gym and doing the muscle work, it, it's just getting those muscles that I don't use on a daily basis back to actually doing some work. Uh, this next one is a seated leg curl, um, as you can see on here, and then I just basically am pushing down. Uh, put my legs between those two bars and pushing down. Again, all I'm using is 15 pounds. I'm gonna do 10 reps. Uh, JR is the one recording, and he's not real good at recording right now. He's learning, but uh, he's the one recording right now. And I'm doing my 10 reps and that it, it's something I don't really he and I go back and forth about our legs um, because of all the walking that I do uh, it's important to me to walk to to get out and move around and walk and a lot of times I feel I don't need to do the leg workouts like he does because I walk and I do so much you know, workout, but I do understand that walking only uses certain muscles and some of these machines that we use, use different muscles. So I totally understand that I do need to do them, but I, I'm not a big, uh, weight person when it comes to legs. So, um, here on this next machine is the lat pull down. Um, I, I took these pictures and they weren't real great. Uh, again, another 15 pounds, and I, you can actually see from these pic, you know, from the workout pictures, that my underarms are starting to get a little flabby because I'm starting to lose the weight. Um, I'm doing 10 pounds each. I mean, 10 pull downs each time, um, and I really. I really do. I enjoy that machine. I, I do. Um, I actually do that machine facing the way that you saw me, and then I also do it turned around. I didn't know on this day, but when I was going to the gym before and actually probably moving on, I will do it the way that you saw me doing it there. And then I will also turn around and pull down from the back because that one pulls, you know, you pull forward, and then I'll be pulling from the back, you know, behind my head instead of in front of my head. I'll probably be doing that, you know, from here on out, just because it works two sets of two different sets of muscles, and um, 
that's something that you know I'm trying that's the one of the whole purposes of me doing the weightlifting even though it's not a lot of weight like I said it's 15 pounds when I was going to the gym before surgery and things like that when I was doing weight small weights I was doing at least 50 pounds at a time but right now I'm only doing 15 because I don't know how much my body is fully healed yet. Uh, I'm having some pains in my uh, lower right side, so I'm not 100% what that is. If it's muscle, if it's recovery, if it's um, my appendix is getting a little bit inflamed, if uh, something about my, uh, my ovaries, because it's all in that same area, and my doctors are going to be doing tests to see what that is. But that'll come later I uh, will be giving you an update on that probably not this coming weekend but the following one but uh, this next machine is the chest it is the chest press um, again these pictures aren't great but you can see here what I'm doing just pushing out that's it basically and um, I again this is only 15 pounds and I'm probably gonna do only 15 pounds for like the next six weeks and, and see how it goes from there I might go up a little but I'll probably do that and I'm doing 10 set 10 um, set 10 reps and then uh, I will do uh, three reps 10 reps and three sets of 10 reps on each machine this next one I love to laugh at JR about because this is outer thighs. Now my legs, again, are strong as it is. And this is outer thighs. You push out with your legs. And JR cannot e even do half of ha how far I go out with these. And um, I actually enjoy these doing, but my thighs are thick now. And I really, I'm... I really don't want, I want to get the fat out of my thighs, but I don't want heavily mus muscular thighs. I've had that. I played softball when I was younger. So I'm not going to do too much weight on this particular machine. Um, on that particular machine, I am not going to do a whole lot of weight. Uh, the max I might go to is probably maybe 50 pounds, but as far as my thighs, I am I want to tone them and get them in shape, but I don't want to make them muscular. My thighs are thick now and I don't want to keep I, I would like them to get down a little bit. I don't want muscular legs. I think muscular legs on a woman don't look that attractive and um I know some women do and some women will have them and that's not a but for me, I that's just not something that I want to have. I, I don't want those thick thighs. So and this next one is um, for, works out your ab abdomen. And um, this one actually was a, a little bit of a challenge for me just because my this works out your core. And um, I actually didn't even get to 10 uh, reps for on this machine. I think I only did about seven. And... I just cannot uh, right now my abdomen is still healing my midsection is still healing so I am you know, real cognizant about not pushing it too hard I'm not pushing my abdomen and my core too hard right now uh, I think after eight weeks I might try and push a little bit more I am uh, someone who actually likes yoga and probably in the next couple of months I'll probably uh, video myself doing a yoga routine so that I can uh, show you the different yoga poses. But for me, when I do yoga, I work out my abdomen. I work out my core more than anything when I do my workouts with yoga. So I am going to work on, I'm probably not going to be doing any type of yoga at least until 8, possibly even 12 weeks just because I don't want, <coughs> I don't want to, I don't want to hinder my recovery at all. I want to make sure my body is fully healed and that my core can do the exercises that I'm doing. Uh, but that's the last of the machines that I did. Now, I also did the elliptical on this, this particular day. I did five minutes on the elliptical and then I did a half a mile on the treadmill. When I go to the gym to do these, uh, the way our gym works is downstairs is the weights and the machines for... Uh, 
bodybuilding and working out with weights and then upstairs there is by um, stationary bikes there is stair climbing machines there's ellipticals and there's the treadmills and uh, when I go upstairs I'll do the elliptical machine I think I'm probably going to be doing on Mondays and then on Fridays because I'm right now I'm just going on Monday and Fridays and on Fridays I'll be doing the stair climber machine and to me those work out a lot of different muscles in your legs that elliptical it, it the like today I'm recording this on Wednesday to go up Thursday which is when you're seeing it but I actually did the workout on Monday and my the front parts of my thighs are still sore from doing that elliptical just five minutes on the elliptical at about three miles an hour and that is just my legs get such a workout um, on Friday tomorrow I will be do tomorrow to you I'll be doing the stair climber instead of the elliptical um, I'll do five minutes on that and do the stair climber and then do my uh, half a mile walk on the treadmill but um, that was my first workout after my surgery I hope that you liked it and I'm probably going to be trying I will probably about once a month be trying to give you a, a workout video whether it's yoga whether it's the gym whether it's uh, elliptical stair climbers weights things like that uh, at least once a month I'm gonna try and and give you a workout video uh, along with the different recipes that I'm gonna be trying and things like that to try and keep show you that you can have variety in your life and still change your lifestyle and be healthy so I know a lot of people know that but some people think oh wait I, I don't want to do the same thing over and over again and you don't have to you don't have to eat the same things over and over you don't have to exercise the same way you don't have to walk the same way you can have variety and still be healthy so that's something that I, I fully intend on documenting through this journey that I, I'm recording here so I hope that you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe leave me some comments leave me questions if you'd like and I will see you on Sunday bye bye